Let's rapidly set up a PC or Mac live stream for TikTok Live using Meld Studio. This is for beginners. And of course, you might need a stream key and you can get them for free. Anyone can get them from free to join agencies. You can visit my link here where I have a verified list of agencies and a full explainer and FAQ. But that's the first thing you need to do. Get yourself a stream key from this link. And then we're going to head to meldstudio.co. There's no M on the end of this. And just press download and run through the installer and accept all of the defaults. And once Meld is open, give it access to your camera and your microphone and press next twice on these two. And of course, we want the multi canvas setup. As a content creator, it's best to have both a landscape and a vertical canvas. So press get started after clicking on multi canvas, where it says welcome to your vertical canvas. I'm just going to press next and done. We'll do the setup ourselves in a moment. To start with, though, underneath the audio mixer, we're going to add our headset and microphone. So double click the word track and I'm going to name it microphone. Underneath input, make sure you choose the correct microphone. That's my quadcast. I'm going to add a noise suppression filter. So I'm going to press the plus button. It's called Magic Mic. I need to change the settings of it though. And I'm going to turn off the automatic game control and it's very high level. And that's going to remove the sound of fans and AC, etc. And now let's add in our headset. So new audio mixer track. I'm going to name it headset. Under the select device, it's now an output device. And it is my Cloud 2 wireless. And simple as that, headset and microphone are now added. Of course, we now need to set up our TikTok live stream. On the right hand side here, I'm going to click on start blank. And basically, if you watch this logo in the top left corner, we can click between our landscape and vertical canvas to set it up. To start with underneath scenes though, I'm going to double click scene. Let's do a basic just chatting, which is our full camera scene. Press the plus button again. And I'm going to name this one computer display. And this is going to show our camera and our computer display, for example, for gaming. So I'm going to click back on the just chatting now. And just chatting, all that is, is just our video device. You might get a pop-up like this. You might have to resize it a little bit. Click on select the device. For me, it's my tail air. And of course, this tail air is pan, tilt, zoom. I would move it down a bit if I'm actually live streaming. But anyway, I'm going to click on this button. And this kind of perfectly sets this up for a vertical camera. I need to drag it into the top left corner or right click align and fit to canvas. And it's now perfectly centered on my vertical canvas. Right click copy, right click paste. And this has moved it into my landscape canvas. Of course, this is messed up. So right click, reset transform, drag it down and make sure it is properly centered. Just to make sure, right click, fit to canvas. So now my camera is now perfectly added in both landscape and vertical. Of course, now we need the computer display scene as well. Let's click on vertical to start with. Press the plus button, display capture. Again, might have to resize. I'm going to add my Samsung computer display. I'm going to put it in the bottom two thirds. So I'm going to start with by dragging it right to the bottom. I'm going to click and then just drag it upwards roughly so it fits the two thirds. Right click copy, right click paste. And once again, I'm going to right click, reset the transform, right click, fit to canvas. Now we have our computer display. Of course, we need to add in our camera again. So before I click the plus there, I'm actually going to click back onto the vertical canvas. Now I'm going to add in the video device. Again, resize it a little, select the device. It's the Obspot tail camera. And I'm just going to resize the vertical layer of my computer display to fit it perfectly. And I'm going to right click copy, right click paste again. I've copied the wrong thing. So control Z to undo. We'll try that again. Right click copy. Right click paste, there we go, done it right this time. And just drag the squares to move the camera down a little bit. And you can see I've got these alignment guides to put the camera where I want. I like to offset it. So I'm just gonna use the arrow keys on my keyboard to offset it a little bit to the side. And if you look in scenes on the left, I have just chatting now and I have computer display for both landscape and vertical. And you can actually choose between the two on TikTok Live. But let's look at how to add TikTok in now. So file and preferences. To start with, double click these bit rates and set them both to 6,000. I find 4,000 a little bit low, especially for gaming. Most of the other defaults are good though. Underneath stream settings, you need to add TikTok. This is custom RTMP, where it says stream output. I'm gonna rename it. Of course, I'm gonna name it TikTok Live without the W. The canvas, you can choose main canvas, i.e. landscape, but most of us wanna stream vertical. And then of course, once again, make sure you get yourself a stream key from my verified list of agencies. And then basically you just copy your stream key from the producer. This page only unlocks after you've requested access from an agency. So we just copy the URL into this box here, copy the stream key, 
likewise into the box. This changes every time, so you're gonna have to come back to this page and edit every time you go live on TikTok. Then just press back and close, then just press go live, and you'll now be live on TikTok. You'll have to read the chat from the producer or from something like Castor Labs. Once again, this stream key page should be in the description, and happy streaming.